Konnichiwa, it's Koneko here and I'm back again with another haul video from my recent Halifax trip. So these are items that I got from the shopping center and um, one or two other places I believe but mainly the shopping center and there's not that many of them, like my con haul was quite a few, there was quite a few things. But before I get into that, if you are new here and you like this sort of content, haul videos, unboxing, reviews, cosplay, anime conventions, all that sort of fun stuff, be sure to hit the subscription button down below and the bell icon to be notified when I post another video. I'd love it if you became a part of this magical pastel family that I am trying to create. So a few stores that they don't have here in Fredericton, such as Lush, Sephora, Victoria's Secret, are places that I made sure that I went to and kind of I limited my extra spending to those shops that I knew weren't here because there's a lot of shops like H&M, Ardennes, Claire's, La Senza, and other places that they do have here in Fredericton. Um, even though I did check out stuff like H&M and whatnot to kind of see if there was a large difference and for the most part it was relatively the same. The H&M store there is a lot bigger, it's two stories, but I decided to keep my spending to the shops that aren't here in Fredericton. Since I kind of mentioned it in my Halcon vlog and I'm not showing the undergarments that I bought there, I'm just going to again quickly show this bag that I love so much that I'm showing you it again, um, especially if you're not interested in seeing like the anime convention type video but more interested in hauls. I got this bag for free after buying a few items from Victoria's Secret. It is super soft and velvety and it has sort of like a pattern sewn onto it a little bit there. You can sort of see it and it just has a small little Victoria's Secret logo on here, only on one side, so you know, you can hide that if you want to. The bottom has like this pleather material here, so it's very sturdy and you can wash it off if you set it like on a floor. And the straps are super high quality, they've got some more pleather here to make them really heavy duty. And I just absolutely love this bag, I ended up using it to carry all my stuff around the con, especially since like my vlogging camera and the Gorillapod fit in here better than my backpack and it was easier to pass this to my husband when people asked to take my photo. Moving on to my Lush items, I debated getting different like soaps or like, you know, like skin creams or body washes or whatever but I found those to be quite pricey and I might, you know, explore that in the future. There was one thing I was going to get but I wanted the small bottle to test it out, not the large one and they didn't have the small one. Anyways, so what I got was several bath bombs which I absolutely love their bath bombs. They're super fun and relaxing. Anyways, so let's get into the ones that I purchased. So what I'm going to have to do is research what I got again because I don't remember. I should have wrote it down or something because I knew I was going to do a video for it but I'll have to look it up and attach it but they all smell super amazing and I bet they're going to look amazing, at least I hope so. And this one is very cute and pinkish and it has like a moon and a bunch of stars on it. I also got this greenish one that looks like a huge star or like burst at the top here. I'm pretty sure this one was called Frozen and it is bluish 
There's a few blue colors in there and it's breaking a little bit on the sides all over me, but that's okay. Finally, the fourth one that I got is this super cute spaceship. Oh my gosh. I hope this does amazing things in there. It is super cute, spaceshipy. I love outer space themes and stuff, and it has little stars in it that I can see. Like, I don't know if they're little plastic stars or like little soap pieces. And now I am covered, including a star, but I'm covered in bath bomb powder. And my cat is like, what the heck is going on? So those will appear at the end of future vlogs that I do. All right, now moving on to Sephora. So I got several items from Sephora. I say several, I got three items. John got them for me to help me, to help out my skin with, I've been getting a lot of breakage in this area. Um, I mentioned it briefly in the Halcon vlog, but I'll say it again that I went in there and luckily one of the workers there who was available is like a skincare specialist and she was able to talk me through several products that I have and kind of narrow down like by eliminating stuff I already have or like really what my issue is. Getting done school and then starting up a new job and trying to figure out like what I'm doing now with my life because I've been in school for like seven years like post-secondary education has been quite stressful so she mentioned that the breakage especially along here is often um, like hormonal breakage from like stress and stuff so I got a few items for that including this pore balance facial scrub and it has a lot of items in it that will really like scrub and clean out your pores and your dead skin cells and you only need to use it two to three times a week she told me because i do have a cleanser as well i can switch them out for once to twice a week this and the next item that i'm going to show you are both from the same brand and everything that i got from sephora i made sure that it was on their cruelty free list and that their parent company was also cruelty free so hopefully their information was correct That next item is a Truth Serum, brightens anti-aging, all day hydration, all skin types. This should really help hydrate my skin as I do get some really dry areas that get irritated a lot. And to really solve the issue of my acne especially hormonal type acne as she was saying at the store is this right here which is ufo ultra clarifying face oil and it is really popular this was their last one in store which i felt that i lucked out and it is quite expensive but I'm hoping that it'll work for me. The worker there said it should work for me. It's one of their most popular ones, even with being on the more expensive side of things. And so far, I've been loving it. I'm close to that time of month, and I haven't had my usual severe breakout. I have like a few small pimples right now, and so this is supposed to help with, you know, the acne that's already there help prevent it and yeah this is what it looks like outside of the box and while I was there at Sephora during checkout I signed up with them for their card because they mentioned that I can use it online which is how I've 
purchased Sephora before and my other like unboxing and review videos um, when I gave them like my birthday information and my birthday is September 9th it is, was still my birthday month so I was able to pick out a free birthday item so I chose the tart option and it came with this lip paint and it is called birthday suit so I thought that was pretty cute and also this 12 hour clay blush is called party with like a bunch of A's <laughs> And this is what I have on my lips right now. It's a nice sort of nude-ish color. Um, since I'm so pale, um, I find it shows up a little bit on me and I really like it. And then here is the blush. And this is natural lighting, so... Two final items that I'm going to show. One is from a candy shop called The Lunchbox, I believe, or Freak's Lunchbox. There is one in St. John, which isn't too far from here, um, but I really wanted some candy and I got these gummy choco strawberry candies. They are super delicious, very sweet. Um, so it's a gummy candy that's strawberry flavored covered in chocolate. They just look like this. And the last item I actually picked up on the way home for the drive, a bit of light reading. This Harry Potter 20th anniversary magazine my nerdy self was wearing this Gryffindor t-shirt, um, my other Harry Potter necklace that I wore in the last video of the Hogwarts crest, and I was like, hun, I need this. <laughs> so while I was, you know, in the car, either like, you know, waiting for John to like, get the food or get the gas or whatever I just took this out and read a little bit of it it's pretty interesting you know it's got everything from the books and movies and cast and stuff and it's just you know I just needed it in my life and now I have it in my life <laughs> but I believe that was everything that I bought in Halifax or on our Halifax trip. The shopping center was the majority of the purchases. I just wanted to share the different items that I got as I was super excited to be able to go to the stores and look at the items. Also, if anybody else is having similar acne problems, I wanted to show the items that I got and kind of show maybe in an updated video of what that is looking like for me, how it's helping me, what I my thoughts are on it. I would love to hear your thoughts on this video in the comment section below. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up so that I know that you liked this video. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!